Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Microsoft Visual C++ runtime on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to perform a clean boot. Now to do this press the Windows button then simply type msconfig and then select system configuration from the search results as an administrator. Now in here head over to the services tab, pick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and then click on the disable all button. Lastly click on apply and ok to save the changes and then head over to the startup tab. In here click on open task manager and the next move you have to do is disable all the unnecessary programs in the list. Afterwards close this window, click on apply and ok once again, then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update or reinstall your graphics card drivers. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. And now in here, in the following window, make sure to expand Display Adapters, right click on the problematic device and select the Properties option. Now head over to the Driver tab and as you can see you have plenty of options to fiddle with. Now click on Update Driver first of all and then select Search Automatically for Drivers and Windows will try to locate the best available drivers on your PC. Now if this step doesn't prove useful, you can and also uninstall the device. So click on uninstall device, then tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device and then select the uninstall button to start the procedure. You will see that after the driver will be uninstalled, you have to restart your computer and Windows will attempt to automatically reinstall the driver for you. Afterwards, you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to download and install the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. To do this, open up your default browser and access the link that I posted in the description below. Basically, this is the Visual Studio official webpage from Microsoft where you can download the latest update. Make sure to click on the specific link and afterwards choose a location, preferably on your desktop, and click on the Save button. Now simply access the installer file and then agree with the license terms and click on the install button. From here on Windows will take care of everything and you can just restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restore Windows 10 or Windows 11 to a previous date. To do this press the Windows button then type in RSTRUI and select it as a run command from the search results. Now click on next and then choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred, then click on next once again and lastly click on the finish button. Note that the procedure can take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Just relax and wait until it's all done then you can just check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to reset Windows 10 or Windows 11. So press the Windows button, click on the settings icon, afterwards click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the recovery section and click on it. Now click on reset PC next to reset this PC and then proceed with your preferences and move on by starting the reset procedure. This will reinstall Windows without necessarily affecting your files then you can just check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.